Club F100 World out here in Springfield, Missouri. NSRA Nationals happens every year at the fairgrounds. And I spotted this truck earlier. In fact, actually, I spotted the owner who is right here. In fact, What's he spotted up, me, I guess, in a way. <laughs> Man, what, what do we have here? What, so, what, what are we looking at? We got an O2 F150 Lightning um, powertrain chassis interior with a 66 cabin bed set on top of it. So you basically did what people are doing with the Crown Vicks, the yep. whole thing, except you set the body on yep. it, so the dash and everything, but you did it to a Lightning? Yep, so the easiest way to describe it is we cut the firewall and floorboard out of the Lightning, firewall floorboard out of the 66, and then married it on top of wow. it. So it was a big boom truck lifting the whole cab down on it. That's awesome, yeah. man. My grandpa is the mad scientist behind it. So, yeah. yeah he's, Where's grandpa at? He's, he's gone. He's oh, he's okay. Us, yeah. So you're doing it like a memory Absolutely. build now, I guess. Yeah. All oh, that's of cool. us are kind of attributing their Well, trunks. it sounds like, do you have something where you're like a, a company or anything like that? In fact, you can uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, so I'm Tyler Cotham. I teach the automotive uh, program at Bolivar High School in Bolivar, Missouri. And uh, these are these are the, this is our logo, Liberator Auto. A uh, little shout out. But yeah, we... Uh, I've got another one of these 66s. It's our shop truck for the school, and my cousins, they've got a picker one each, and my uncle, he's got another one. So we got a whole family of 66s. So it's, it's a Ford family, huh? Ford, Ford family. truck family. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Well, tell me about the engine here. A lot of people that know Lightning's probably know, but what, yeah. what, what are we working with? So it's a 5.4, um, and it's different than a, like a 5.4 in a regular F-150. It's got little different heads on it, aluminum heads. Um, uh, Eaton supercharger. It's cram packed in a 66 engine compartment, so it's a little funky. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, they looked need, big until you put like, yeah. and then you're like, oh, there's not much room in here. It needs some love as far as organizing, but it, it's it's hey a guys, working project. Hey guys, those it's guys that think that your truck isn't ready to go out, this guy has a two by four <laughs> holding in his uh, battery with some bungees. Uh, you know what? No excuse, guys. Get your truck out there. Yeah, go auto, to those shows. <laughs> Autocross approved. There you go. Yeah, we just did. If they had any idea oh, about this battery. <laughs> Uh, gateway if you're watching uh, don't worry about that that yeah. was just that we put that in after uh, <laughs> yeah. this is cool so basically I'm just gonna ask ignorant question here so this is a what liter 5.4 liter and that was mainly a truck engine or yeah, did you so find those? anything um, I want to say 04 to probably 8 had a 5.4 liter um, Triton V8. Okay, so it's a um, modular so, motor, right? But it's the bigger one. It doesn't have all these. Well, it's four point six. Sure. And well, like and uh, like the five, a three valve five point four, and those like oh four to eight F one fifties were notorious for really bad things. Yeah. Okay. This is not that. It's got four valves. I was gonna say this and, is a four valve. So it's different heads, um, okay. different intake, but same platform five four um block and everything and you know but it's got upgraded pistons and crank and all that and do normal five fours handle boost well or is this more of a the lightning five fours can so i don't know that uh the normal five fours can at least handle well, as much not as much yeah okay. i mean I, there's guys that have got pro chargers and stuff on them but this one i mean this is a, a factory f-150 lightning svt from cool. you know as far as all the running gear powertrain that's awesome, man. No seat belts. I mean, we were safely secure. <laughs> safely secure. The uh, seats kind of hold you in. Yeah, you know, the hands on both sides and the feet <laughs> and spread feet. apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah pushed yeah. hard against Absolutely. the floor. Hashtag safety. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Hashtag duck. Tape. Hashtag. <laughs> Here, that's awesome. Um, There's no wipers because of it. <laughs> Keeps the rain out of yeah. the wipers. That's awesome. So what do we got going on here? Uh, so same thing. It's all, it's a little rough, but it's all O2 lightning um, interior. So. It's even got direction and temperature up in the, oh my God, that's in the cool. roof. And like I said, it's it's rough, but it's uh, so cool. Yeah, but you just had a blast with it. More, oh, I just had more so than much fun. people that have a super nice oh, yeah. whatever, whatever. So, oh, yeah. fact, so, you know what? Who cares that it's not yeah, the, mint? Yeah, there's not very many. Uh, if you, you slapped, know, eighty thousand dollar rigs running exactly, in autocross. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. If you slapped a paint job on this, got everything right, you're probably riding that that a little, not as hard. Not as hard. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I like how I had to remind you to stop at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, stop, so, stop. <laughs> so I, I don't know if I captured it, but he kind of got in trouble a bit about going through the stopping part I to did. get to get the best time you can. Yeah. Shot her down. Okay. He just, he just told me. Did, did you have to get on him? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a UPS driver. I know that. You whip your I know. Yeah. You want to ride? <laughs> so I was there to back him up. Be like, hey, 
That's awesome. This is cool, man. I like how basic it is, but also like super unique. I mean, there are other builds out here like this, but this one is ready to go. Usually they're for show. Yeah. And I didn't mean to rhyme on yeah, that, but yeah. there you go. Hashtag usually for show, this one's ready to go. <laughs> Uh, I like these. These so these. Factory. I always get the. Oh, these factory. Yep. I always mix these up with yep. the other type that come from yeah. the other. So they had some Harley Davidsons that were oversized, like, like the two thousands or yeah. something. Yeah. But cool. Now that's everything driveline. And look at that. He could still just haul anything oh, he wants in here. Oh, it's a I hold my dirt bike in the back. Of there it. you go. Well, what's the history on this? I mean, you said something about your grandpa. And yeah. All that. So it. Uh, these guys can fill in too, and correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But basically, he had a buddy who did insurance uh like buybacks and he called him up and said hey i've got a, a lightning that was rolled over and i kid you not it set in the driveway looked like a crushed pop can and you could reach in and boom when it just set an idle i mean it was incredible i don't know how in the wreck it didn't get into the, the front end uh, even the coolant i mean radiator everything's good wow. so basically it was taken apart frame was twisted in the roll so they took it apart uh grandpa did and um, got a new f-150 frame or different and every piece piece by piece built it back and really? then customized the bed it's longer than a short or longer than a short bed shorter than a long bed to fit the chassis and i always say changes like that people don't notice until they notice it and what i mean right, by that yeah. is they're drawn to it but they don't know why yeah right, subtle difference right. yeah and probably that's a short Bed, um, but yeah. you know, he, earlier he was like, did you, yeah. did you cut the bed down? And I was like, well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> no, those are factory lines. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little rope. Here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. So you said you got a 66. Like, uh, what do you guys have? Yeah, I got a 66 oh, this, F100. Okay. Yeah. Short 65. bed. 65. I got yeah. a 66 short bed. 66. Hey, great, your grandpa was my dad. Okay. Yeah. He's the reason we all have these yeah. trucks, as far as you know. That's awesome. Yeah. Deep seated. You know, I, I got a, you know, I'm leaning against the truck like it's mine or something here, but the, the, the slicks are some of my favorite because that's the one I grew up with. Yeah. Uh, my dad has, has a 64, still does. Stock as can be, except he has a 289 in it. So I, I can relate that uh, you guys all have the 66s yeah. and 65s. I and what, what year did you say this? This 66 grill, but. 66 body. Uh, okay, so it is a 66, a 66 full. 66, okay. Yeah. Um, 02. That's cool. Uh, Light. There you go, guys. That's yeah. cool. We're out here. Uh, he, took a, he took a shoehorn and had to slide the cab <laughs> right yeah, down on top of that interior of that there, light. There's grinder marks on the dash from having to get some, <laughs> some inches. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. He'd sit out underneath the shade tree by his, by his driveway and he said, I think I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he had a lot of And you're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You're passing on the lineage from your grandpa, you know, from. Your dad's and stuff, all this, all the family in it, and you guys are keeping it, keeping it in the family trucks and yeah. Fords, man. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Exactly what Ford Farm World's about. Absolutely. We need to do a video about your truck and about your truck and your truck someday. What do you think? Yeah. You guys are all kind of local to me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we go. I'll lean on them. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we can show them whenever. There you go. Well, hey guys, future videos. Stick around if you guys aren't part of Ford Farm World. Join it. We're also on Instagram. We got uh, basically Facebook pages of it as well, and you guys can see more. People just building their trucks yeah, in their shops. Yeah. Have a good one, guys.